Maribert Girolie, and welcome to another video of the Communication System Laboratory Series. So normally we have at least four pairs for this. The first one is the white, green, green. We also have here the white, blue, blue. We have the white, orange, orange, and the white, brown, brown. So whenever you do a cable, uh, a UTP cable or a uh, crossover cable, we have two standard. The first standard is T568A which has a color combination of white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, blue uh, orange, I mean, white, brown, brown. So this is the first standard for color coding of your UTP. The second standard is what we call the T568B, which is, the color standard is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white brown brown so the difference between the two standard is the first two or the first three colors of your uh, cable as you can see in 568a the first color is white green green and then white orange and then we have the white blue uh, the blue the white blue and the orange while the other one is the white orange orange, white green blue, white blue green. So that's the difference between the two standard color coding for UTP cable. Okay, so here at this end, we're going to use the T568A standard. So we're going to use the first color which is white green green. So first thing is you do the untwist, untwisting of this cable pair, but make sure you don't untwist it too much, okay? So just line this up, and then we have the white orange, okay? So we untwist the orange pair, so we get the orange one here. So just make uh, straighten this up. Okay, and then we get the white, blue, I'm sorry, we're going to get the blue color, the blue cable, then the white, blue, then we have the orange, okay, okay. make sure this is all, all line up and straight, and then and twist the last pair which is the white, brown, brown. This is how you do this. Okay. okay, there you go. Make sure to not to untwist too much of your cable pair. Make sure it ends at the jacket of your cable. Okay, and then we get our RJ45 here. Okay, and we paste this off. The copper must be here. The copper 
of your RJ45 and we sip it until the lock area. This is the lock area of your RJ45. This is the lock area, okay? So make sure that your jacket is at the lock area of your RJ45, okay? okay. So we line this up again. Check if your cable is correct. <laughs> Sometimes, you need the, the cable interchange when you do something. So after that, we're going to get our printing tool and we cut it on a straight line. Make sure it is a straight line. Okay. So we cut it like this. There you go. Look. Okay. Then we slip it on our RJ45. Okay, there you go. Before you do the crimping, make sure to check the color coding. Make sure it is it has a correct uh, color coding lineup. Okay. So now we're doing the crimping. All you need to do is, sorry, you must put this RJ45 here, the middle area, and make sure to. Okay, there you go. And there you go. Okay, so the next thing is there's the other end. So this time, we're going to use the T568B color coding standard. So as I told you earlier, do not untwist it too much. Uh, get the first pair, which is the white, orange, orange cable pair. So we line it up again. Make sure to untwist it only at the end of the jacket that you are uh, Doing. So the next one is the white green. So white green here. Straighten this up. Okay. Then we have the white blue blue. Okay. Okay, there you go. And then we have the blue, I uh, the green one. Next we have the White orange, a uh, white brown, brown pair. Okay. There you go. Straighten this up. Okay. So this is the okay. This is the color combination for P five six eight B. Now, as I told you earlier, so we have to cut this on a straight line again. So we're going to use the crimping tool that we have here. So I'm just lining up, straightening this up before I cut it. And there you go. And there you go. Carefully slip, slip this to your RJ45. And there you go. I told you earlier that make sure that your jacket is at the lock of your RJ45. Okay, now let's check this if we have if we have correct uh, color coding again before we crimp this. Okay, so I think this is correct. Okay. So slip it again on your crimping tool. I'm sorry. So there you go. And Make sure you slide it and uh, squeeze your scrimp the crimping tool and make sure that you got it right. So there you go. So this is secured. Okay. And you have here. We already 
have our crossover cable and if you want to check this out you could use your cable tester or all you need to do is put it on your laptop and your router or your switches and that's it for now thank you and god bless watching this video. If you like more topics about technology, electronics, and computer, please like, share, and subscribe this channel.